Hey everyone, welcome to the Tutorial Lab. Today, we're diving into something exciting, how to use Gemini AI in the Google Messaging app. I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to integrate this powerful AI tool into your texting. Let's get started. Step 1. Update your Google Messages app. First things first, make sure your Google Messages app is updated to the latest version. Head over to the Google Play Store, search for Google Messages, and hit Update if you haven't already. This ensures Gemini AI will be available. Step 2. Enable Gemini AI in Google Messages. Once your app is updated, open Google Messages. In the bottom right corner, you will see Gemini icon tap on it. It will guide you to enabling Gemini activation process. Just follow the steps. It's very easy to set up Gemini in Google Messaging app. This will activate AI-powered assistance in your conversations. Step 3. Start a conversation using Gemini AI. Now, let's start a new chat. Open a conversation and begin typing your message. You can ask anything to Gemini. Step 4. Ask Gemini AI for help. Gemini AI can do more than just suggest replies. You can ask it questions directly. For example, you can type, what's the weather like? Or, what's a good place to eat nearby? and Gemini AI will provide you with instant, useful information without needing to leave the app. Step 5. Ask Gemini AI to create images with prompts. You can ask Gemini to create images with different prompts. Whatever you write in the text box, Gemini will create the image of the prompt. That's really cool. Let's try to create one image. Let's generate an image of sunset in the sea Wait a few seconds here Gemini will create your image. You can see Gemini has created two images from our prompt. The image quality is very high. Remember better prompt equals better image. And that's how you use Gemini AI in Google Messages. Give it a try today and see how it makes your texting faster and more fun. If this video helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the Tutorial Lab for more easy tutorials, and let me know in the comments what feature you liked best.